Hello everyone, Strip again. I'm gonna be doing an reaction well again, and this time I'm gonna react to the Inke. I'll, I'll beat this out. I'll, I'll beat this out. And the video of his in today's video of his I'm gonna react to is called Duncan Stuff Biscuit Bites Review. So yeah, I'm gonna react to it. So before I even start, I want to give a disclaimer. If you do not like the content I make, the reaction videos, or any of the other stuff I do on my channel. If you don't like them, then don't watch it or else, because the only thing you're going to be doing is give me a view, and that's a damn truth, bro. I mean, that's a damn truth, and not much of truth. So yeah, this is all I've do. Let's get the video right now. Let's get it right now. Welcome to Peep This Out Reviews hey. with Ian K. Stay frosty. Stay frosty. What's going on, everyone, and welcome to the channel, where today I'm over at Dunkin', in between rainstorms here in Southern Cali, to check out their latest snack slash breakfast treat as one of their first major promos for 2023. And you know what? I gotta say, I'm kind of disappointed with the size of what I'm about to get into here already, guys. Feast your eyes on what I've got here, the supposedly stuffed biscuit bites. And I gotta say, again, the size is a little lackluster on this, guys. These are literally bite size, and I guess that's true there. Let's break this on down for you real fast. Okay, so what you're looking at here is a two-piece order for $3.69. That's already suspect given the size, guys. But as you can see, I have one of them split open here for you. What this is is warm biscuit dough that's wrapped around a mixture of bacon, scrambled eggs, and cheddar cheese. So definitely a snackable, poppable type of thing. But at the same time, the price point is already a little prohibitive on this one, considering it's almost 4 bucks, actually a little over 4 bucks after tax, for this two-piece order. But hopefully the flavor is going to deliver. So let's not waste any more time on this one, guys. These are the stuffed biscuit bites here at Dunkin'. Let's keep out this flavor. Yes, sir, I had to split these in half because I wanted to make sure you got a nice little shot of the cross-section before I bit into this one, guys. But as you can see, it looks a little light in terms of the filling with the scrambled eggs, the bacon, and that cheddar cheese action. But at the same time, the size mm. is definitely tiny on this, guys. I'm trying to keep the focus there. Yeah. But not bad, I guess, in terms of the puffiness, naturally. Let me just actually go for one. We'll go for a straight bite, and uh, we'll give mm. this a go. This is going to be kind of a quickie review, as, again, I'm trying to keep that focus there. Let's give this a shot. It's the stuffed biscuit bites here at Duncan. Here we go, we're peeping this out. Okay. Definitely has a buttery biscuit type of flavor. Mm. It's dense, but it absolutely smacks of a breakfast hot pocket if you've huh. ever had those guys. The smokiness of the bacon is definitely there. A little bit of the cheese and the scrambled egg. And the flavor is just okay on this, but the biscuit dough is pretty nice on the, on the outside of this here, guys. But again, very, very basic. Um, and a little lackluster because of the size. I mean, about a dollar eighty five or so, we'll say, um, for each of these. It's not worth that, but let's go for another couple on it. It's a nice little cheesy action on the inside, but the filling is not necessarily stuffed like they're advertising. So it is what it is, right? Yeah. I mean, that was obviously the second bite. And as you can see, there is hardly anything on the inside of this here. So they're basically selling that biscuit dough goodness. And it has got like a nice buttery flakiness to it there. And again, I'm trying to keep that focus. I apologize. That whole lighting behind me is really throwing me off. But as you can see, again, very, very light on this one. So a little quickie review to check these out here. Let's go for one more bite. We'll wrap the review with the rating coming up next. But guys, a little substandard, but the taste is just okay on it. Let's go for one more bite and we'll wrap this one up. Hang on. Well, here's a better cross-section shot for you. And as you can see, I've got a little bit more on the inside of this one. But even still, guys, stuff is really a stretch when it comes to the size of these and what's in it. $1.85 or so a piece is absolutely a stretch in terms of the price. So I don't think I would probably recommend getting this more than once just for the curiosity's sake. Mm. But at the same time, the flavor is just okay on it. So with that said, I'm going to have to give these quote-unquote stuffed biscuit bites here at Dunkin' just a slightly above average 5.5 out of 10, guys. I mean, naturally, they're warm. They definitely feel pretty nice when you bite into them. The flavor of the biscuit, though, is pretty nice. But stuffed, like I said, is a stretch on top of the price point for this one. The smokiness of the bacon wasn't bad, actually, and overall, the creaminess of the cheese, once you get to it, is okay. But at the same time, they do build these as poppable, and that's essentially it. These are more or less one or two biters at the most. But again, stuffed, just a little bit of a stretch. All right, so do me a quick favor, like always, drop those comments down below. Let me know what you thought of the appearance of these stuffed biscuit bites here at Dunkin'. Did they look pretty stuffed to you? And if you've had them, how satisfied were you afterwards? Drop those comments down below. And definitely let me know. And with that, this is Ian K closing out another high-quality foodie feature for you here on Keep This Out Reviews, bringing you brand new content every single week here on my channel. So I stay tuned for the next review coming real soon. In the meantime, stay frosty. Stay frosty. <laughs> hey, thanks for checking out this review, guys. We're just. And I'm going to be dubbing the video right there. 
So yeah, that's the end of this reaction film. And I hope you guys like this reaction film. And I hope you guys like it. And I hope you guys do like it. If you don't, then I don't care. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on those notification bells on. Where every time I upload and share my videos and react videos to your friends, family, and also if you want to, it's your choice. Because I ain't making it. So yeah. And don't forget to subscribe to, to ENK of, of the channel. Please so if you're new, subscribe to this channel. If you haven't yet subscribed yet, subscribe. Subscribe. And roll to 2K subscribers. Hope you can hit. And uh, see you all for more banger content to come and more banger react spells. So yeah, and I'll see you on the next time. Jimmy's signing out, and peace out, Legends, and peace out, everyone.